Hello and welcome to SHE with Intel Academy. We are going to talk about an important job at hand which is the uh, upcoming INICT paper. And uh, the thing is that uh, as I told you previously, the paper we found very tricky. And uh, many of the students also after the result has come, it has been a lot of disappointment for them. They have not really scored well in the paper. And uh, many students have also got very good ranks, but many good students have also got really bad ranks. So the thing is, today's video is about not about the NEET MDS result, but how to effectively prepare it for your upcoming INICT exam because the NEET exam is already gone. If you have not got a good rank, it's done. For those who have got a good rank, big congratulations to you. So all of us who are going to be preparing for the INICT, remember, this is a new exam, okay, a new domain, a new paper, and if you have prepared well for the last one year or more. Okay, you have every chance, every right to get selected in that paper. It's only important that you prepare well and utilize the effectively utilize the six weeks which are left for the exam. So don't worry about what has already happened. If you have not got a very good rank in NEET MDS exam 2024, you have all the chance to get selected six weeks later. You can completely turn the tide around if you properly follow the schedule, look at what went wrong in this paper and try to rectify in the next paper. So the next part of the video, I'm talking about how to effectively utilize these six weeks for getting the optimal result for you. Now, if you have decided you want to go for INICT or not, okay, when you have decided, yes, I want to go ahead, what to do? Okay, one good golden hack I use, if you have got a rank between top 2000, okay, we consider you a good candidate for INICT. If you have got a rank beyond 2000, we say you go for the next NEET exam that is going to be a more practical target. Still, you have to decide for yourself. Sometimes very good students also end up with a bad rank. You have around six weeks left to the exam. Okay. And again, I see a lot of videos uh, regarding how to prepare. And uh, the thing is you have to do the subjects. And in two days, you are completing the subject. Uh, you have around 17 disciplines. Okay, which you have to cover for INICT, and if you start giving even three days per subject, okay, you will end up with 51 days of subject revision. I have not included any past AIMS paper, past I NEET paper, past SR papers. You have just done your subjects, and how much time you have taken? 51 days. And you have around six weeks. Six weeks means 42 days, seven into six. Even if you are doing two days per subject, you are taking 34 days. You are left with no time. You are left with no time for revision. So, the important thing is what right now in six weeks' time, if you are left with, okay, 42 days, the best thing is I will tell you. You have to decide how well you were prepared for NEET exam. There are two kinds of students. One is who think they were well prepared. They had done their subjects. They had done their, how do you decide you were well prepared? You have done your subjects at least twice. Okay, you have done your question banks at least twice. My book twice. Uh, if you have done other books like Gauri Shankar or Pulse, you have done them twice. Okay, you have been preparing for one more than one year, you are a dropper. Okay, so those are the students we put in the well prepared category. Your exam may not have gone very good because the exam was very tricky. Again, I see videos, how was the NEET exam? It was, you know, out of 240 questions, 120 were very easy. I mean, it was a really tricky paper for our students, at least I can say. I don't know about the others. What feedback I got, uh, there were very close options, two, two options, and anything could be the answer. Okay. So anyways, whether you are well prepared or not, or you are having an average preparation, means you are a first year preparing person, I mean fresh intern, you know one year into internship now, about uh, internship about to got, get over or has uh, gotten over in recent time. And you've done uh, uh, your question banks like Gauri Shankar Pulse just once or half, you have have partially done my book. Some of you might not have done my book at all. Uh, you've not done your subjects very well. Subject-wise preparation also has not been very good. It, you've done it just once. 
so those are the students who will be in the average category okay we can't wait for the neat result right now to decide whether you are within the two, uh, within the 2000 ranks or beyond that so we'll just go about you see how well you are prepared if you are well prepared okay don't think about subject wise preparation just do mcq based revision okay just do mcq based revision that is a very important thing to do okay and if you are having an average preparation you think you are not well prepared you could not uh, maybe in the neat exam you, that you given you could not answer confidently out of 240 even say 120 questions 150 questions you did not know anything about the rest of them you could only do 100 120 questions then you will come into that category of average preparation okay in such cases uh, there is no point thinking about the ina exam right now you should start thinking about the next year be a well prepared student okay for the next year exam in the november ina try to you know improve your preparation and that will be a much better way of going about things rather than thinking about six weeks target right now so we'll just focus upon average preparation student okay think about next year or the november ina ct ini or next neat but if you are into the well prepared category okay and you have to do an mcq based revision okay if you are to do mcq based revision then what to go about so you have certain things to do you have to take care of your past mcq and you have to take care of the uh, 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 question banks you want to revise your subjects just as a question based revision you can go through your question bank once whatever you do my book you have done or you have done pulse whatever you want to do for me my suggestion is definitely in these 6 weeks time you should do at least the last 5 6 till 2017 need papers with explanation again that is very important for me if you are doing a question bank gauri shankar pulse or whatever do selective questions which you could not answer previously and that leads you that you know you can do the book much faster you can complete your subjects much much faster and you are not spending too much time just doing a question bank from which questions are quite unlikely to come okay so don't spend time on theory okay do the questions which you already bookmarked which you found you could not do previously or you think you need revision with okay and that is one part okay doing my book if you are doing it for the first time you are listening to this video and thinking about my book and you have not done it before don't do it if you have done already revise it that is what i am saying okay that was about the question banks now you must be in some of the academy okay one or the other academy not necessarily us so many of you will be in other academies they must have given you some some question papers or question banks again you can't do the whole of the papers subject wise you have to be selective and you have to do only the book marked questions so that you are confident that you have completed the important questions from each of the subjects as far as the past mcqs are concerned okay past mcqs are very important because if you know the last inct paper was a 90% more than 90% repeat from the previous ina questions and the aims questions 2014 and 13 questions were asked uh <coughs> in you know totality actually so many questions came from those papers the one who did not have mastery over the past repeats was simply out of the equation even otherwise you see the ina papers you have a fair amount of repeat questions from the previous sr papers okay from the previous aims or ina papers okay and <clears throat> you also get questions from the medical repeats
So medical repeats, there is no shortcut of doing going about the whole thing. You must be seeing some of the videos already on the net. Don't go too much. If you are doing medical repeats for the last, uh, say last <coughs> three years of INI papers, which will be six papers if you can do, that is fantastic. Nothing more is going to be coming in those papers, uh, in your paper beyond this. SR paper, you must do the last five years. Okay, and the <coughs> AIMS INI papers, at least, you know, since 2013-14 has been asked. At least you have to go to the level of 2015 to be complete with your preparation. Okay, so this is the job at hand. You have already so many papers to do. <coughs> I don't think you have time for subject-wise revision. That is why I am saying, do MCQ based thing. Okay, you already have your question banks to cover. You already have your past MCQ papers to cover. There is no time to go back to subjects actually in the six weeks. If you are a well prepared student already. If you are into average preparation, obviously you have to go back to subjects. But my suggestion will be instead of going for short term targets, fill the form, give the exam, okay, but don't specifically prepare for it. For the average student, I'm saying. For the well prepared, definitely this is a good chance. Okay. So even this much, what I'm saying is too much to do in six weeks time. It is too much to do. If you add this, it becomes insane. So this is the whole perspective that you need to do. You have to decide for yourself how well you have done these things. Okay, if you have done the past, you know, SR papers already done before the NEET exam. If you have done the AIMS papers last five years before the NEET exam, your relative thing is already done. You focus more on this then. Okay, if you have before your NEET exam, you have already done this well. The question banks. Okay, these uh, the my book or whatever pulse or whatever you've done. Okay, you have done that. You want you don't want to revise it again. This is where you focus. Okay, so you have to individualize. This is just a general broad perspective I am giving from the perspective of thousands of students who will be preparing. Okay, or giving the exam. You have to individualize what applies to you. This is the scope of what you need to do. Okay, whatever you have, you have done well, don't need to repeat it. Whatever you have not done, you need to repeat it. Now, next thing is, again, you are well prepared. You have done these questions. Sometimes you still feel, okay, my subject is not okay, my subject is not okay, I want to do those subjects. Or, okay. So, if you have to focus on subjects, are there subjects on which you really need to focus upon or or everything needs to be done or there are you know i'm seeing some plots and graphs given by many people if this is how you subjects have to be covered okay according to me it doesn't go like this if you see last five INI papers it is very obvious that all subjects have been asked and the distribution in medical versus dental remains 35 approximately i'm saying 35 percent medical and 65 percent dental which is what i gave for the need exam also so those times when 90 questions used to come and everything used to be from dental is gone now. The medical questions are also going to come. And you get very simple medical questions and you get very difficult. Like the path of superior gluteal nerve. Okay. Injury to the superior gluteal nerve. Some ocular palsies. Okay. Optic chiasma related questions. The optic pathway related questions. Okay. And uh, the upper limb questions. Okay, you will get some very, you know, weird, awkward questions which are taken from the medical side, which year nobody knows. Okay, we can't do the last 10 years of the medical papers. So, the point is where to focus upon. In dental, you will see the forensic odontology is less asked, not that not asked, it is less asked. Okay, one question has been there on winging. And has been repeated twice at least in the papers. But that is all the forensic I have found in the last 2-3 years. And on the medical side, the general surgery is less asked. But general anesthesia has come. Not general surgery, but the part which is co correlating, overlapping. General anesthesia, one paper has been asked in which there were 2-3 questions on general anesthesia itself. So, it's very difficult to, you know, leave out the subjects. But yes, again, as I told for the... Uh, need preparation your focus should always be on the dental part because you will get some new questions and one possible hack you can say or whatever 
uh, you want to revise the subjects think about the departments that are already there in aims okay you have prosto you have endo ab kon jitna nahi puchte they like to ask more endo okay you have prosto you have endo you have now pedo also so pedo questions come you have a lot of community questions if you want to revise one subject specifically you ask me it was going to be community okay community dentistry and applied biostats new questions are going to come okay some questions related to schemes and all apart from that you have oral surgery and you get classical questions and you get some new questions also regarding the techniques so the oral surgery prosto endo pedo and obviously opath omr is evergreen no paper can be found without opath omr so sometimes age determination has to come traumatology is an often on off kind of a subject if questions do come three four questions will come otherwise nothing is going to come there was a time when every paper used to have traumatology dental traumatology okay so these are the important disciplines if because prosto is there they start asking dm okay so you know identifying which subject is not going to be asked is a little tricky that is why if you see the past papers okay and prepare them well at least the repeat that comes should not go wrong that is the important philosophy when you go for this exam right now okay so and whenever you want to revise one subject you ask me i will say community the most important subject to be revised on the medical side if you start focusing on general medicine general surgery you will be putting just too much time without much gain you start putting time on biochemistry you will not get much gain yeah anatomy questions do come again anatomy so vast head and neck hai limbs hai you know uh, uh, abdominal region hai and you have the microanatomy is there okay so reproduction is there histology is there general anatomy is there can't go about so many details best is to focus on the the past questions that have come just revise them with the answers so that any repeat question you are able to cover and then focus on the dental subjects and try to gain an edge in those subjects overall uh, the kind of paper i expect is going to be mixed paper i think the neat paper i was expecting to be a little bit easier it was more tricky the ini paper i think is going to be relatively easier compared to the neat paper so right, guys from my side hope you do very well okay bye bye and see you i'll see you in another video good luck